Welcome back to the channel guys. Guess what we're doing today? No, we're not doing a mod. I know it's kind of shocking. Actually, today I am gonna tell you how to adjust, how I adjust, not a professional, for all those people ready to comment, um, how to adjust your projector headlights to the right height. Um, this is something I was worried about when I bought my headlights. These are the Hero headlights. I got them from Fast Tech. Uh, this is not a, this is a non-RS car. It is a 2012 Camaro V6. Uh, so I got the halos on there. I had just installed those. I was worried about how the projector was gonna come out and if I was gonna blind people, all that stuff. Um, from my understanding, what you should do to get your, your projectors right is put your car at 25 feet on a level surface facing a wall and then you wanna measure the height from the ground to your actual, the middle of your projector, which for me is 28 inches. And then you wanna go and put 28 inches on the wall, mark it with an X or a piece of tape. I put a piece of tape horizontal. And then I got 25 feet this way and I marked the ground with a piece of tape. So that's exactly where my bumper is gonna stand, where my headlights are. And then this is, I wanna be right in the middle of this line. And the projector headlight should hit here. And you want your left projector headlight to be lower than the right so you don't blind drivers and you want your right to be slightly higher so you can see road signs. So then we're gonna get that done. So I'm gonna make this quick because I am in a shared garage. Um, so this is, there you see the blue piece of tape so that's damn near on the actual halo. And if you look on the wall, my lights are just below it and I had already adjusted it so that this, the left light is lower. If you can see that pattern, it's lower. So you want it to be at that line or slightly below it. So I'm gonna turn both of them up just a little bit to get it slightly below the tape while making sure that the left side is lower. This is gonna be, your projector should have something like this. This little screw right here to, um, give me a second here. Oh man, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna have something like this little screw right here. I think mine to the right is up and to the left is down. It's just a Phillips screwdriver. Um, I don't know, I can only speak for my Halo, uh, for the projector, I'm sorry, but uh, um, I'm sure most of them will be similar. So that's where you would adjust the beam. Just side note. All right, so that's exactly where I want it. So if you could see that the left side is lower right there and it kind of comes up here. So the right side is higher. If you come over here to the blue tape, it's r damn near right on it. So that way I won't be blinding drivers on this side and I, that's still high enough to see the signs. And then I'm gonna turn on my high beams real quick for you guys. So as you can see on the high beams, it wasn't like a like ridiculous pattern. It was, both of them kind of looked the same. They were kind of symmetrical. Um, and the left side was still lower. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this video to wrap. I don't wanna take too much time because again, I am at a shared garage. So I don't want somebody coming in here and not being able to park. Um, that simple, easy to do at home. Make sure you do it so you don't blind people. I recommend it. Um, I will put the link to these headlights. I don't know if I said that already in the description. Uh, just in case you do want them and you have a Camaro. As usual, thank you guys for watching. Um, and before I actually take off, for those who don't know, for these light bulbs on the Camaro, I believe it's like an H9. Um, they don't have a high beam, low beam, so I'm pretty sure in any projector headlight, if they have like one projector, like if they have two, they might use the second one as a high beam. But if they have one, there's like a like something in the headlight that like refracts the light. So when your high beam comes on, like in, in these, you can actually hear it move. It's like the it, whatever is blocking partial, partially the view adjusts when you put on your high beam and it lets more light through. So there's not any more lights turning on that are already on. All right, with that being said, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, if this helped. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe please. Um, as usual, just a guy living life. Uh, have a good day and I will see you on the next video. Bye.